Hello, welcome to another video as usual. Thank you so much for joining me for these videos. I really love sharing my perspective, hopefully helping somebody out there. If you like these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like the video and check out any of the resources in the description box below. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a question that I got asked on my Instagram. They asked, Lissa, why do you eat two salads a day as opposed to a higher or all fruit diet. So let's talk about that in this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Before we begin, we have 40% off any or all of our raw vegan recipe books. You can enjoy countless raw recipes, including burgers and soups and stews and curries and chilies and tacos and all kinds of good stuff. For 40% off, the code is rawfood40 and the link is in the description box below. So this person on Instagram asked me, Lissa, why do you eat two savory meals a day instead of a high fruit or an all fruit diet? So when I first started raw, I was doing raw in Canada. I was living in Edmonton, Alberta. That's where I was born. And I was raised in Edmonton and St. Albert, which is just close to Edmonton. And the weather there is pretty intense. There's a lot of snow. It's cold a lot of the time. And we really have a short growing season. And most of our produce is imported from other areas. So the food isn't necessarily the most awesome. There's great stuff. Again, I'm not saying that it's pretty crappy all around, but the fruit isn't the best at most times. Um, we're pretty limited in the tropical stuff and it was really expensive as well. I spent my first five years as a raw vegan in Edmonton. And then my sixth year, I had moved to the United States to marry my love, Nate, and we started to enjoy more different kinds of varieties. But in Canada, because fruit was so expensive and some of the fruit wasn't that great, I defaulted to more salads. I was using dates and bananas typically as my like bulk of my calories. And I was eating two salads a day. I was having a big, what I call fruiting vegetable salad. So like tomatoes and cucumbers, zucchini, bell pepper with romaine lettuce and a low fat dressing, typically my French dressing. For those who are looking for the French dressing, that recipe is in my dips and dressings ebook. It's the dressing that I used all the time, pretty much almost every day I would make that for lunch and have it on my lunch salad. So yes, the lunch salad was fruit because tomatoes and cucumbers and bell peppers are fruits, but they're considered culinary vegetables. So I would have a big giant salad for lunch and then I would have another big giant salad for dinner, but the dinner salad would typically have like my rougher leafy greens, spinach, mixed greens, kale, sprouts. I would put a lot of sprouts and other vegetables in my dinner salad and I would have a higher fat dressing with that one. So say cashews or almonds or what have you. And I would have my chia with my lunch just to get the omega-3 balance. But I would have two savory meals because fruit wasn't necessarily abundant or affordable. So I did it that way. Now, the reason I still do it that way is because I realized that this was the best balance for me and I feel like it is a really amazing balance for so many out there because of the new science that's emerging, talking to the importance of adding more variety and including more vegetables in our diet. We get so much from vegetables and I feel like vegetables are kind of thrown under the bus. They're not as important as fruit and fruit is on this really high pedestal of perfection and we some people say that it's perfect human food. And yes, it is. It is amazing human food. But so are vegetables. I feel like they should both be on that pedestal. They should be together up there, equal. Vegetables, sprouts, and greens are just as important as fruit. I think that it's best to have a more balanced diet, including all of those foods, to get a wider variety of fiber and nutrition because we're getting so much from our greens and vegetables that we may not be getting completely from all of our fruit. So I still eat two savory meals a day. I mean, not every day. Some days I'll have a smoothie for lunch if we're really busy and we just can't make a lunch, we'll just make another smoothie. But for the most part, the vast majority of the days, it's fruit for breakfast, 
fruit as snacks. We get about a thousand calories of fruit before lunch. Lunch is about a 500 calorie salad and dinner tends to be a five or 600 calorie salad. So we end up eating anywhere between 2100 and 2400, sometimes even more. Sometimes we'll have nice cream after dinner and that boosts us up to 2700. It really depends on our activity level, how we're feeling, if we're feeling hungry, we'll eat, we don't mind. And we enjoy feeding our bodies whole foods, raw foods. So that is why I use two savory meals a day is because I value the importance of vegetables. And yes, the dressings are typically fruit-based. So I am eating a lot of fruit. I just really put a lot of emphasis on the greens and the vegetables because they are so neglected in the community. People are putting fruit too high on a pedestal. I think it can come down and vegetables can move their way up to an equal playing field. They are both important. And greens are actually really important. Greens and vegetables, really important for phase two detox in the liver. They provide a lot of nutrition that the liver needs to properly detox. They also provide the roughage that we need to trap the toxins and pull them out of our body. We need fiber to pull the toxins out of our body. Otherwise, they're just gonna get recirculated. So we need to have fiber, it's so important, and that's another reason why I do two savory meals because I can get a lot of different greens and a lot of different fiber variety into my diet. Plus, I love salads, and I'm a savory girl, so I do really love to eat more savory foods. I do love my sweet stuff as well, but mostly in the morning to get that boost of energy first thing, and then throughout the day, it's more vegetable focused for me and I find that's the best and a lot of people that I've coached have noticed that creating this better balance of fruit and vegetables has really helped with their digestion, with their mood, with their balance, with their everything. It's really important to include vegetables as well on a raw diet. Super, super important. I can't stress that enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please click like. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and go check out our eBooks. We've got over 700 oil-free raw vegan recipes. You don't need to be a raw vegan to enjoy more raw food. We all know the importance of eating whole, fresh, raw food. So add more to your life. Go check out our e-store. The link is in the description box below and get 40% off any or all of our eBooks with code RAWFOOD40. Until the next video, guys, I love you all so much. As usual, fruit on.